Hello everyone and welcome to Isaac Time. With me, your host, me. It's Judas. This means please don't die on the first floor because that will be extremely embarrassing. Judas obviously is a uh, hard-hitting character to begin with. That's an excellent item as well uh, to go along with it. But uh, very very glass cannony at this stage of the game. Oh, we can actually take this. That's really handy. Do we need the key? Maybe. Do you know what? I'm going to use the bomb anyway because there's a good chance of getting more than... Yeah, that's what I was thinking. More than just the key from this. And if we can avoid getting hit at all, that will keep us in a good place. Obviously, we can't take any hits from any champions like that one down. Uh, Alright. That's goody stone. Oh, scared the shit out of me. I was like, why am I not shooting? This is a bad thing. Ah, maybe we should have saved our bomb though. There's a tinted rock here. We could buy one. But then that kind of would have... I don't want to buy a bomb because we spent a bomb. Oh jeez, this could be very bad. Uh, in order to get the five cents that we would then spend on the bomb, which would basically mean we shouldn't have used a bomb on the pots in the first place. Right, don't die here. Shiz nip. It's very close, but we've got a great amount of damage. We just need to not get hit. <gasps> I hate it when he's not shooting. Start shooting. Oh, we made it. I'd very much like there to be a spirit heart amongst this one. There is a bomb, though. I will take this. Are you a wizard? I am not. But in the time it takes us to get to the next floor, having uh, gone out here... Oh, we've got a... Uh, what's this going to look like? <laughs> That's pretty funny. Right. Shiny Rock tells us about Tinted Rocks. Uh, FYI. Well. <laughs> just gave us two bombs. Uh, not, not my favourite. I guess we look in here for a... T uh, sp yeah, spirit heart. Perfect. Kind of tempted to pick up the the candle there, the red candle, but I think as Judas, we do have a good start in terms of damage. Oh, when I say in terms of damage, I mean we have good damage. Did that just make a shiny thing? Yeah, where the tinted rock used to be. I've got it, game. Thanks, though. Uh, I think what we'll do is we'll save our bomb for the next floor to try and find the secret room. As Judas, we do start with a decent amount of damage, and the Book of Belial is often enough uh, that we can use it to increase the damage that much that you really don't need to worry about uh, our, our damage output at all, our DPS, for quite some time. And Matt's Kidney Stone is occasionally going to increase our fire rate to such a huge extent, as you have just witnessed, that we could have many lucky coincidences of uh, Matt's Kidney Stone and a difficult room. Get us through that room. There we go, it's charged up again. And a difficult room to prove my point. Unfortunately, we did get hit. Ooh. I uh, I actually literally jumped a little bit to try and get out of the way of that fire. I um, appear to be in that, that situation where Isaac is literally making me jump in my seat. This is uh, the Binding of Isaac Blair Witch version. Excuse me. Why are you running so far away? This is very frustrating. You absolute dick. Uh, I guess we try and buy a spirit heart. We can. That was a bit of bad play, to be quite honest, just now. Um, got hit on a couple of rooms. I find the Mullaboons room is very difficult to avoid damage on if you've put yourself in a position where you're trying to deal as much damage as possible. Um, yeah, keep shooting that. We did well there, though. Uh, we've got a syringe, which is a good syringe. And unfortunately, a Krampus fight. But if we can uh, make this end ASAP, we would run very little risk of taking damage, which is how it went down. Do we take Krampus' head? I'm going to say no. Book of Belial not only does allow us to increase our damage a considerable amount on uh, a regular basis, which I think is very important. Krampus' head does have the disadvantage of being not very frequent, um, but also the, the deal with the devil chance is increased whilst we hold the Book of Belial. It's not guaranteed like it used to be. This could be our secret room, so I'd like to find out. It's not guaranteed like it used to be. It's still very powerful in those terms. Where are we going, by the way? We've got, it looks like a Polaroid. I guess we just... I don't want to pay for the secret room, but at the same time... Let's open this so we get a bomb or several. Uh, it's a boss trap room, which is okay at this stage. Um, especially since we just wasted pin with one shot, which is pretty funky. Uh, that was bad, though. That gurgling was in exactly the right place, so leave me no choice. We can't get those two. Unless this one gives us bombs, which it did, and plenty of money, so we could also buy a bomb. So I'm hoping that I've made the right choice with uh, not taking Kramps' head. Ow, oh, feck. 
I did all this to avoid paying for the secret room. I didn't even need to do that because uh, for the curse room. I didn't need to do that because we're going to put a bomb here anyway. It is the secret room, so there is at least that going for us. Matt's kidney stone is actually setting off very often, a lot more often than I would have anticipated, which is uh, quite often indeed. But also, it has this thing where I'm a little bit scared because I'm wondering why I'm not firing. I have got a bomb. I'm min-maxing a lot, but we've actually gone quite quickly, probably thanks to said kidney stone. Uh, but I'd like to now get in here without taking all the damage in the world. A little uh, lost fly there, just seeing what's up. Hello, why aren't you... Uh... <laughs> why did you put this here and leave? Boom. I'm hoping for uh, explosive diarrhea here. Temesis. That's also okay. Well, I didn't work too well, but it is what it is. We have done everything there possibly is to do on this floor. Indeed, we've wasted all our bombs and all of our keys. We have nothing left to our name. This is a strong run, but I've wasted a lot of HP on this exact floor. For which there is no excuse, because that was the second floor. Um, this puts us in a difficult position. We can't get into the cur uh, curse room, yes, but I mean the item room yet, because the item room is gated by a key at this stage of the game. Let's try and bait these things into going into the direction I'd like them to go into. Kidney stone is uh, obviously super helpful in this sort of situation. Whoa! Because it means that we don't have to worry about the chicken game that we're playing. Hopefully we'll get a key uh, that we can reach. Well, we can get these bombs, so we should, I suppose. Stars card avoids the need for that key, and that looks like a black heart over there, so I will spend the extra bomb for it. Blackheart also gets us out of this room, which we actually want to fight. So, not not this room, but you get the idea. Uh, and the cursed room. So, what I think we'll do, take this, try not to get hit. Try not to get hit. Probably should have used the Book of Belial. I will use it anyway, because we're definitely going to recharge it before the boss. Uh, try not to get hit. And then, once we have consi consistently not got hit... We will spend half a spirit heart on getting into the cursed room and our stars card on getting out of it. That seems good. All those in favour? I'm looking for... Oh, that's pretty good. Uh, which one do we take? This is a very good question. I'm going to take Succubus. Two reasons. First of all, we may get HP from the boss. Ooh, that's nice too. And the HP from the boss may then allow us to get back into the... Well, we may also then get um, the deal with the devil again because of the Book of Belial and then we'll be happy that we can take the other one. Our range is poor now but I suppose you expect that when you say the sad onion. Uh, ooh. But also I suppose it's Daria? Ooh. Guess we take this. We can get into both of these as well. What was I saying? I took this one because it will consistently do damage for us um, during the floor, and of course, consistently thereafter. A few cards is nice. What we get? Hanged Man and the Lovers. The Lovers doesn't help us too much, so I'm not going to even... I could have popped it, but I'm not too concerned by it. We'll save a key by going in here with a bomb. We've left our Book of Belial behind. We should go and get that. Thank you. So now we've got a good chance to get a deal with the Devil, hoping to get some HP from somewhere. Maybe we should buy this just because we have spent our HP and therefore can't really necessarily afford too many uh, uh, mistakes until we get to the boss. So don't forget this is a daily. You're supposed to go a little bit faster than you are and try not to take too much damage because there's points. Points to win. Uh, then hopefully we get our deal with the devil, we get our HP and we pick up the other one which is a nice damage upgrade and the fear shot is kind of okay but... Not, not the most amazing thing in the world. And we take this Hanged Man card, which will... Thank you for, uh... Thank you, Succubus, for not requiring me to... I really wasn't paying attention. Uh... Look. <laughs> Just use it now. Uh, let go of my Matt Skidney Stone charge. We did not get a HP upgrade. We got a Joker card anyway. That will kill us if we took it. I think it's probably better than... The Hanged Man, although the Hanged Man could give us some consumables or a chest or something like that that we couldn't otherwise reach. 
uh, the Joker card is just that much more likely to be powerful. And now I'm a bit upset about the amount of damage I've taken and the amount of HP we have left, but, you know, you live and learn. We're we gonna... There we go. So we must be uh, more vigilant about using the Book of Belial basically whenever it's available. It's only a three-room charge, which is extremely valuable. GB Bug, not quite on the same trajectory as Succubus, which is interesting. Uh, Dead Onion, uh, Sad Onion, by the way, is given a Spectral Tears, which allows us to shoot past rocks, which does somewhat make up for its poor range. And hopefully we'll get a range upgrade, or at least you know, some sort of shot speed upgrade, or something that increases our effective range somehow. So, uh, in future makeup, there's our HP upgrade. There's no Krampus fight in here. It is a guppy item, so we will definitely be taking it. Uh, I've... The placenta gives us regeneration as well, but without any red HP, that's not too valuable. And if that is indeed the Polaroid, not the negative, we will be wanting to make permanent Polaroid invincibility work when we get past the mom fight. So. At this stage, a little bit less HP is probably a slightly more valuable than a lot of HP. That was very close. This uh, following me fly is actually going to be close to Mega Fatty every time Mega Fatty jumps. But I don't think it's the fly that does damage on contact, so whatever. That was pretty handy. And now it's going to be Mega Mawa. I bet we energy resources. So uh, someone else's impression of someone else's impression. An impression of someone else doing an impression that I don't necessarily fully understand. I believe it's Dr. Wyoey from Mega Man. Uh, I don't need the hematomesis pill, which I will continue to pronounce hematomesis until somebody gives me a compelling reason not to. This is probably going to be a debate along the same lines of the GIF slash GIF debate, just because the person who invented it says it is said that way does not mean that it is in fact said that way. That just simply means somebody is very, very wrong and they had the misfortune to be the person who is supposedly an authority on the subject. Did you get the seam sail just now? And I'm going to test this for secret room potential. Ha ha ha! Spider sense is tingling. I think we'll just leave this floor. I'm not too interested in it. I don't really want to faff around with the extra rooms. We found what we came for, which is the shop and the item room. We found the super secret room. We could find a secret room, but I don't really care. We'll go down to the next floor. We'll use our joker card whenever we don't get a deal with the devil and feel like we can afford to take one. I will not go to the curse room because I have a black heart on top. Um, I don't want to spend a black heart on whatever the curse room may contain. I'd rather spend a spirit heart or indeed nothing at all, if entirely possible. So we will certainly try to make the most of that from an HP standpoint. Try and stay in the succubus uh, sphere of influence as well, because you get a much better damage output. You get a, literally a damage upgrade from doing so. We'll open all of these on the vague hope that one of them will actually contain a key, and if it doesn't, we will just hope that a key exists somewhere else. In oh, that's actually kind of what we want. Uh, that a key exists elsewhere in the floor. We have the kidney stone going on again. That was a very close call. Ponta key? Balls of steel, even better. I couldn't have hoped to even request for it. Uh, there's our keys. I'm not going to keep hold of the two of spades, I'm just going to scarper. Keep the joker card at hand. We certainly have, uh, we're in a position where we can spend our single HP. I don't want that. Uh, this can get us out, but I'd like to keep the Joker card, so I'm actually going to do it. I'd like to keep our single HP for the deal with the Devil. As aforementioned, that was very, uh, very foolish indeed. Oh, I'm doing so badly. I've forgotten how to cope. This whip worm, by the way, has greatly increased our range, so I have no reason to be getting so close as I am to the enemies. But let's not consider it a throw until we've actually died. Which, you know, is possibly more imminent than I'm happy to admit. But, oh, uh, what's happening? I guess I've played this once. Bit of money? Sure. Bit more money? Okie dokie. I mean, was it worth spending the HP? Maybe. I mean, I cannot 
Can I imagine that we won't get another half a heart? There's one right now. <coughs> In fact, there's one on that other room. We could have got some more money uh, out of the blood bank, but oh, we didn't. So, what's done is done. That's the way that works. A tears upgrade would go a long way. I'm really feeling the the lack of power that we end up with when the kidney stone effect stops working. Like our rate, our, our tear rate is terrible when the kidney stone comes out and the flood ends. Oh, what is this all about? How many times do I have to complain about those things and they still manage to fuck me up? Alright. Uh, sure. It's a few bombs. It's fine. We have a maybe 1 HP. You know, it's not the end of the world. Let's not go that way just now. It scares me. But, uh, not 1 HP, 1 extra life. But, I mean, we can't rely on it. It's not the sort of thing you can gamble on. Really, the whole point of taking that item was to have a guppy item. Which is a shame. Because uh, it would be nice to be able to have a slightly more reliable one extra life, maybe Judas' shadow. Since we're Judas anyway, might as well go full, full Judas, right? Full dark. Hey! That was worthwhile. Pretty pleased with that. We can get in here. We might as well... Ooh! Right, we've got scatter bombs, not glitter bombs. Whoa! Come into play. Sure, let's take that. Shit, but we took it. We've got um, steam sail. So we can buy lots of stuff, which is nice. It certainly protects us a little bit more. What does this give us here? Necropolis 1. Is it just spirit hearts? Yes. Actually, what I was hoping for. Seven cents for four spirit hearts is perfect. I don't want to take... I don't want to get rid of the Book of Belial just to see if we can get any decent items on the Cathedral, on the Womb, etc, etc. I'm really happy with the Book of Belial, even though I've not used it very much. Mostly because it helps us against bosses. And the reason I'm not using it very much is there's only one boss on the floor, so... You can sort of work that one out mathematically for yourselves if you care to. I believe the uh, cool kids are saying, do the math. But they're uh, not cool, nor a kid, so... I'm not going to say that. I can't shoot that away from me, which makes me sad. Did take a bit of damage there, which was upsetting. I'm not very good at those, um... Those Isaac runs we have to do. Got a little bit confused by what's happening here. Look, I don't seem to be necessarily paying 100% of attention. So, let's, let's just talk to ourselves. Look, you're doing a daily. Everyone's doing the same daily. It's a Judas daily. You have a Joker card and you took the meat, which is probably a bad idea. It's okay though, I fear. Oh my god. How fast are you? You need to watch what you're doing. Pay attention to the game. Get your head in the game. Or I'm not sending you back out there again. We'll bring on the rookie. Watch watch the enemies. Predict their movements. Even when that's impossible. You're better than that better than that at the adversary, for example. You've Beaten the adversary multiple times before without any need of a uh, hand holding or you know self scolding with an O. That was pretty good. I mean, our damage is amazing right now. When we've got Succubus behind us and we've got um, Book of Belial on the go. Oh, well, I don't want that. <laughs> I wasted a bomb. That's okay. Probably should have actually uh, waited for that to pop since I didn't have to go in there to find out what it was going to be. Another Joker card. Another, another Joker card. So there's actually no point in not using it straight away. Little Brimstone is here to play, which is also fabulous. Fabulous, darling. Can you give me something? No. Okay. I'll take Little Brimstone. I'm not a fan of this other one. Um, what's that thing called? Betrayal. Mostly because it means if you try and play anything like the... the Demon Judgment or the Blood Bank. Really freaking annoying. It's damn irritating, that's what it is. Finally did this room right for the first time in my life. Here's a Blood Bank now. Another Demon Judgment. So an HP upgrade would be great. I think we'll take Ball of Tar this time. Apart from the fact that last time we tried to reroll it and it sucked miserably. We don't even have the opportunity to reroll it this time. Probably just making up for it. This feels like a secret room because this is always a secret room. Ah! Don't forget about your scatter bombs. Skinny Odd Mercy is actually the uh, damage upgrade that Gotham needs. Can you explode them? 
uh, fire upgrade, sorry. It's a damage downgrade. It's a shot, shot rate upgrade, so... I think it's a DPS upgrade, but also generally being able to have more shots on the screen, I think is a lot more valuable than having higher damage shots in the first place. And if any of these things wanted to give me a black heart from the Athane payout, that would be swell. I mean, we can tell just from something like Eve's Mascara that we'd generally rather have... Where am I? What am I doing up there? I got really confused. Um, we'd rather have more shots than stronger shots. Because Eve's Mascara gives you way fewer shots, but they're way stronger and it sucks. Cool. Yeah, our, our rate of fire plus damage is actually really, really good right now. Especially with the piercing slash spectral tears, which just go through everything. We haven't got any bombs, which is weird. We have plenty of time to get into boss rush, so I will. I'm not going to use Book of Lyle right now, uh, because our, you know, our DPS is perfectly good enough to beat Mom. I mean, our DPS now is stronger than it would be if we use Book of Lyle with sort of base damage. And I would probably would use Book of Lyle if we had base damage, and I'd be happy with it. Uh, we can't do anything here, can't blow him up. Fair enough. So, yeah, Pupula Jukebox is probably the sort of thing we're looking for. It's a decent item, it gives us our much better, um, what we're we saying, hitbox on our shots. Our shots are now way better at hitboxing. Oh, don't stand near the explosive things. In fact, it would probably be in your best interest to explode the explosive things right now. With Whitworm, our range is really good. And I was about to say, maybe we want to take um, bloody, uh, Explodey Penny there. What's it called? Burnt Penny. And I thought, wait a minute, I literally just said that we have a great trinket. Why would you then talk about replacing the trinket? Well, it gives us something to say, I suppose. Plus, though. You can see that we've got permanent polar in invincibility, so we were right that we're going to the cathedral. And we are actually doing an, uh, a blue baby run, not an Isaac run, so that's worth noting. We're actually going to the chest. Probably going to be a hush run then. I've already used this, right? I'll use it again, just in case. Um, it doesn't do anything. A second time. I hate this, though. Not knowing where that thing is going to be... ...is hella bad. Excuse me? Can I have my uh, black heart, please? No? Okie dokie. It's very close, but I'm <laughs> ballsy enough to stand right there. Let's see if I'm not. What have we got over here, anyway? Loki? I think it's Loki. Let's go find Loki. Loki, there you are. Seems to be taking damage whenever Matt's kidney stone procs. Which suggests to me that I need to pay more attention to when Matt's kidney stone is procking. Uh -oh. We've got an adversary, which we've already taken damage on on this run, so it'd be foolish to do it a second time. I'd like to keep this, please. And not be hit by the spiders. So you keep rotating around this joker until it does a brimstone attack, when you've got a couple of seconds of refractory period before it tries to do anything else. This is pretty good. That's really good. It looks like little brimstone doesn't actually fire until the end of Max Kidney Stone's attack. It's a good thing I came over here, because could have taken some unwanted damage from Mega Fatty's vomit attack there, not knowing that Mega Fatty was around. We don't need to be getting this close to enemies. It's not like we have um, proptosis or anything. Oh, hello. I <laughs> appreciate that guy showing up. So it's not like we benefit from our shots being closer to the enemy when we fire them, when they hit the enemy, I suppose. It doesn't benefit from us having been closer to the enemy when the shot hits the enemy. So I guess we just don't try to do that. A slowed haunt is an easy haunt. Write that down in your coffee books now. Got a max kidney stone. Here we go. That The actual kidney stone itself does do a lot of damage. It's kind of difficult to hit with it. Because really you just want it unblocked and making the firing happen. Make with the shootings, huh? No. Good. 
Right, we're taking a lot of damage. Not proud of it. But I uh, really wasn't paying attention just now, so there's that. I keep, I keep letting go of uh, the fire button to try and get the kidney stone to fire. But of course, that's not how it works. That's how a little brimstone works. So I should be doing it anyway, but not for the reasons I am. Picked up Aquarius. That means that we've beaten Boss Rush. We've got the trinket we want. And we will head onwards and try and get to Hush with some more HP than we currently have. That was a <laughs> strange situation. The, um, the gravity effect of those things was Kerbal-esque in nature. Slingshot maneuver around some holes in the ground. Quite why there's holes in the ground in here. The the uh, um the theme of these floors probably doesn't warrant too much deep thought. I wouldn't put too much thought into quite why we're apparently in our own mother's womb, having just defeated her. For eight hour energy is pretty nice, but we have this Joker card, which I'm hoping will be valuable. Um, well. I'm hoping we can get some HP to make it valuable. Very funny. I meant to... Uh, obviously, <laughs> I meant an HP upgrade rather than just health on the ground. I really don't know how to deal with Mama Gurdy in general, to be fair. I've never successfully fought Mama Gurdy without... Um, flight. Because that stuff that splatters all over the ground, that slows you. We have to wait for this to stop flashing red before we can actually use it. Uh, not too bad. I'm not going to use the Joker card now. And of course there's the um, the spike attack, which is also very difficult to deal with if you don't have flight. Because as far as I know, there's no way of predicting where it's actually going to spike. No bombs still, what? How do I always manage to get in the way of those shots? Good thing I didn't take a deal with the devil. Amnesia. Well, I guess we just leave then. We don't need to worry about min maxing the deal with the devil because we know we have at least two floors coming up on which we're guaranteed not to get a deal with the devil because there are no deals with the devils on the cathedral or the chest. So, if we're not necessarily too happy about our situation. We don't have to take a deal with the devil on the floor when we don't get a deal with the devil because we can take a deal with the devil later when we may have more HP and be in a better position to do so. So that's what I'm thinking. But I'm also thinking how the hell are we going to fight Hush with 3 HP? No bombs, so we won't be doing that. I'd like to be doing that because it could have some decent stuff in those stone chests. But alas. 4 HP. Very well. Don't get hit. Search everywhere for HP, I suppose. Try and find Tinted Rocks, which are a lot easier to find on Scarred Womb than on the actual womb, because there's more contrast on the uh, actual graphic. So we'll, we'll not fuck up this room by stepping on this device, but stop firing, it's not helping. Good. A succubus is really helping out. I mean, we've not talked about it much, and of course, it's hard to bring it up whenever it actually happens to be in range of us, but the fact that it's bouncing around the room, just taking out small enemies, which many of these rooms comprise entirely. Any tinted rocks? No. Also, no. Well, we've got one bomb, so we do at least have an opportunity to investigate a tinted rock. Should one... I'd like this bomb, actually, so I'm going to spend the time on it. We've got plenty of time. That was excellent time to have a kidney stone shot go off. Uh, this is an excellent time to have a much better dodge skill than I do. Leveled up. More points in dodge, please. Good, 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 good. Oi, even more bombs, even fewer tinted drops. Even the same zero tinted drops. We only need seven keys for the hush fight. I guess we take these. I guess we just do it. What 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 could possibly go wrong? That was close. 
This is an horrible situation because half the shots being slowed and half the shots not being slowed is a pretty hard, uh, difficult situation to deal with. Quite frankly. Plus, we have to not <sighs> get hit <sighs> by those. Uh, this actually could benefit us. I'm actually going to take it, even though it seems like a bad idea. <laughs> it is a bad idea. Um, slightly worried. But we have to do Hush or we don't get anywhere. So I think I'd rather die to Hush than live a coward. There's this. There's this, which could help us with these chests. So I'm glad I opened that first. Iron Bar is extremely valuable. It's a damage upgrade on top of Concussive Shot. Which I think just uh, confuses enemies. This is also extremely valuable. It's not only a health upgrade, but also a damage and rate of fire upgrade. There's a shitload of stuff, none of which is particularly useful. I was kind of hoping for maybe a Spirit Heart, a card that would allow us to, um, you know, get some more. There's no, uh, no cards in here. We'll take this so that we can actually use it on the boss. On the hush. Uh, take. No, that's going to kill us if we do that. So let's not do that. <laughs> it's just a bad idea in general. I don't know why I even entertained the notion. So we've got plenty of range, especially once the enemies are slowed. We should be able to do more than they can do to us. So now it's just a matter of not getting hit by the hush, which is possible, but it is very much facilitated by the hush dying faster than, you know, never. Of course, we were standing on top of it, which is bullshit. Apparently that causes you to take damage rather than giving you a time to get the hell out of the way. So what the fuck ever, Tyrone. This game, I hate it. I'm bad at it. It sucks. It's got stupid mechanics. You know, I want every Isaac run to be amazing, not just... Not just some of them. Not just the, uh... Lost victory ones. You know, I, I don't play this game to have... No knowledge of how the run's gonna be, and to test my metal. Or the game's metal. Against me. No, no, no. I play this game because... The arcadey nature of it means that I can always have a good time, never be in a frustrated position. This is really good. I'm very much a fan of this. We're doing a lot of damage. I mean, I've only waffled on so much, and yet we're about a third of the way through, I'd say. So, only about three times as much of this bullshit to go. Can we make the turn here later on? I mean, we could try farming up a... Uh, I don't want to. There's a small chance that the Athane, let's use this as well, by the way, could give us more black hearts than we lose by walking into those things. But I, I really think that's a very desperate tactic, and I don't think we're at that stage yet. Uh, or never shall we be. Don't forget about uh, Little Brimstone. Oh, you fucking what, though? Call bullshit on that, by the way. Right, where the hell do we stand for this? Who knows, though? Ah, shit. Get out of the way. Oh, you jackass. I really hate this bit. Because he switches before you can figure out where the fuck to stand for the previous one. So if we get hit here, it's all over. So we have to get through this phase. Through this phase, which is even fucking harder, because these things are as unpredictable as everything else in the game. That was just too hard. 508 for dying on the hush is actually pretty good, I have to imagine. What a frustrating run that turned out to be. I've, I've learned something about Kidney Stone, which is it's really, really difficult to get it to fire. It's easy to get it to fire, don't get me wrong. I mean, you just wait until the thingy stop flashing and then you, you let go. But when you stop firing, you suddenly have to re-engage your brain and go, right, Kidney Stone is on. And then you forget about all the things you were doing, like dodging. Uh, and you screw everything up and die to the hush, which I still call bullshit on the fact that it can hurt you before it's finished spawning. But, no, game beat me. I probably would have taken another hit anyway, even if it hadn't been then. So thank you for watching. Uh, I hope if you played the daily, you did as badly as I did. Ha 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 ha. Uh, and if you didn't, I hope you enjoyed watching me fail at it. But until the next time, thank you for watching and I'll see you then.